In this video, we will focus on object properties and the organization of objects. We will use a floor plan design to illustrate this. Let us begin by starting a new file. Click the new file icon. We will select the use a wizard option and choose quick setup. Click OK. Choose the architectural as the unit and click Next. We will set the width to 60 feet and the length to 40 feet. Click Finish. Notice with the Use a Wizard option, AutoCAD requires us to choose the unit and set up drawing area. We will now set up the grid display and snap options. Go to Tools pull down menu and select Drafting Settings. Set the grid spacing to 6 inches. We will also set the snap spacing to 6 inches. Let us switch on both the snap and grid display options. The display is not showing any grid points. This is because the displayed region is still using the default values. We will use the zoom extend command to readjust the display. Use the navigation toolbar on the right side of the screen. Choose the zoom extend from the item list if it is not the command on top. Notice AutoCAD will adjust the display using the drawing limits we have set up. For the floor plan design, we will use multi-line command in AutoCAD. Let's first set up the multi-line style for our design. Go to Format, Multi-line style. We will start a new multi-line style. Enter wall as the name of the new multi-line style. For the description, enter 5-inch wall with line end caps. For the caps option, set caps on both start and end. For the elements, change the two offsets to 2.5 and negative 2.5. Click OK. The way the multi-line works is AutoCAD will create parallel lines. So imagine there is a center line in the middle and the two offset lines 2.5 and negative 2.5 are above and below the center line. Measurements are the distance to the center line at the middle. Click Set Current to set this new style as the current multi-line style. Click OK. To create multi-lines, choose Draw and Multi-Line in the pull-down menu. In the Command Prompt area, AutoCAD shows the current settings of the multi-line command. Justification is set to Top, Scale is set to 1, and the current multi-line style is set to the new style we just created. Before creating the multi-lines, let us switch on the ortho mode in the status toolbar. The ortho mode will restrict the line segments to either horizontal or vertical. This is quite useful for floor plan designs. We will start near the bottom center of the screen. First wall we need is 11 feet 6 inches. So enter at negative 11 feet 6 inches, comma 0. Hit enter. The second wall is a vertical line and we will use the direct input method. Move the cursor upward and enter 25 feet 6 inches. The next line is 25 feet 11 inches. 
The use of the ortho mode in the direct input method allows us to very quickly create the outside walls we need. Right mouse click and choose enter to end the multi-line command. Hit the space bar once to repeat the multi-line command. We will continue to create the outside walls. Realize that AutoCAD actually remembers the last point we have selected. So we will enter at 3 feet, comma 0. This will place our point at 3 feet from the last corner and therefore we have created a doorway. The next segment is at 1 foot, 1 inch, comma 0 and then a downward segment 30 feet. The next line is 14 feet and 9 inches towards the left side. The next segment is 11 feet up. One more segment at 1 foot 1 inch toward the right side. Right mouse click and choose enter to end the multi-line command. We will now create the interior walls. But before we do that, let us first bring up the object snap toolbar. Go to the tools pull down menu and select toolbars. AutoCAD and select object snap. Reposition the toolbar by drag and drop the toolbar title area. Activate the multi-line command, choose draw and multi-line in the pull-down menu. We will use the snap to midpoint option. And select the left vertical wall to snap to the midpoint of this wall. We want a wall with a length of 10 feet. So enter at 10 feet, comma, 0. The next segment is a vertical line, so at 0, comma, 1 foot, 1 inch. Hit the space bar once to end the multi-line command. Hit the space bar again to repeat the multi-line command. For the next segment, enter at 0, comma, 2 feet, 8 inches. We will create a vertical extend pass at the top horizontal wall. Right mouse click and choose enter to end the multi-line command. Hit the space bar once to repeat the multi-line command. We will use the snap from option, so click on the snap form icon. We will use the upper corner of the existing wall. Let us zoom in to see this corner more clearly. Now we will use the snap to endpoint option to assure we are referencing to the correct location. Select the corner. Enter at 2 feet 8 inches comma 0. Again, we will just extend the wall past the right outside wall. Hit the spacebar once to end the multi-line command. Let me zoom out a bit. Next, we will use the multi-line edit command. Go to modify, object, multi-line. Quite a few multi-line editing options are available. We will use the Open T option to join the inside wall and the outside wall. First select the inside wall and then select the outside wall. Notice that AutoCAD will trim the walls and form the Open T correctly. We will do the same to the other two inside walls. Hit the space bar once to end the multi-line command. We can repeat this process and create the rest of the inside wall. Now, we will set up layers to better control the object properties. Click on the Layers Properties Manager. 
Layers can be thought of as transparent overlays. We can use layers to group similar objects so that they will have the same properties. With layers, we can quickly control object properties, such as line type, color, and line weight. Consider the floor plan we are working on. The walls can be on one layer, the plumbing diagram can be on one layer, the electrical wiring can be on another layer. In AutoCAD, layers can be switched on and off very quickly. Using layers is a very convenient way to organize object properties as well as to turn on or off certain information within the drawing. AutoCAD allows us to create an infinite number of layers. Typically speaking, 20 to 30 layers are more common in industries. In the Layer Properties Manager dialog box, we will click New Layer. We will create a bathroom layer. Click on the color setting. The default color is white. We will select cyan as the color for this layer. Click on the check mark to set this new layer as the current layer also known as the active layer. Note that there can only be one current layer in AutoCAD. Click on the close icon to exit Layer Properties Manager. Use the dynamic zoom function by turning the mouse wheel and we will zoom in to focus on the bathroom area. First we will create the bathtub. Use the rectangle command and we will use the snap to endpoint option and snap to this lower right hand corner. And use the relative input method. Enter at negative 2 feet 6 inches in the x direction and 5 feet 10 inches in the y direction. This will form the outline of the bathtub. We will repeat the command, so hit the spacebar once. This time, we will use the snap from option. We will use one of the bottom corners, either this one or this one. We will use the lower left corner. Enter at 3 inches, comma, 3 inches and hit enter. For the other corner of the rectangle, enter at 2 feet, comma 4 feet 7 inches. For the rounded corners, radius 3 inches. We will use the fillet command. Choose the fillet command and right mouse click once to bring up the option list. Choose radius and set the radius to 3 inches. So we can now create rounded corners all the way around. Next, we will create two more rectangles. Choose the rectangle command and we will use the snap from option. Let me switch off the snap option so that it will be easier to select. Choose the endpoint option relative to this corner. Enter at 9 inches, comma 0. The size of rectangle we want is 20 by 10, so enter at 20 inches, comma 10 inches. Hit the spacebar once to repeat the last command. We will also use the snap from option and choose the endpoint option relative to this corner. Enter at 2 feet 10 inches, comma 0. The size of rectangle we want is 30 by 20. So enter at 30 inches, comma 20 inches and hit the enter key. We will also create rounded corners on the rectangles.
so use the fillet command. The radius is already set to 3 inches. So we will go ahead and create the rounded corners. Next, we will create an ellipse. Click on the down arrow and choose the axis and option. Use the snap to midpoint option. Snap to the top of the small rectangle. The first axis is in the vertical direction. Enter at 0, 20 inches. The second axis we want is at 7.5 inches, 0. In the layer control toolbar, we can click on the down arrow to display the layer list. We can control the visibility of the layers by clicking on the light bulb icon. So for example, if I click on the light bulb icon in front of layer 0, AutoCAD will turn off all the entities on that layer. Layer 0 is automatically created by AutoCAD and this layer will always be there. We can create additional layers and delete any layers we have created if we choose to do that. Click on the light bulb again to turn on the entities on layer 0. Layer is a very convenient way to control properties. All the objects on the same layer will have the same properties. Let us create another layer. Click on the Layer Properties Manager icon. In the Layer Properties Manager dialog box, click New Layer. We will create another layer which we call Walls. Click on the color setting. We will select blue as the color for the layer. Click OK. Set the new layer as the current layer. And close the property managers. Let us switch off the bathroom layer. We can also move objects from one layer to another. Select all the displayed objects by using a selection window. Now notice in the object layer list all of the entities selected are on layer 0. We will click on the down arrow icon to display the layer list and select the walls layer. This will move all of the selected objects to the walls layer. Hit the escape key once to deselect the selected object. Now switch on the bathroom layer. We can also use the matching layer properties command to move objects from one layer to another. Let us zoom in on the bathroom area. Click on the matching layer properties command. The matching layer properties command is another way to very quickly move objects from one layer to another. Let us use the selection window and select the bathtub. Right mouse click to accept the selection. Now AutoCAD asks us to select an object to match the layer properties. Select one of the inside walls and notice the bathtub has been moved into the walls layer. Using layers is an easy way to control object properties and it is a good way to organize the many objects in a drawing.